We begin with a little quote from Ra on the primary health system. He says, the moment you can truly embrace yourself, trust yourself, love yourself, you empower your immune system. You give it an empowerment that no medicine, no pill, no association, nothing else can do for it what your own self-love does for it. And everywhere in this world, we seem to have opinions about what's good food, bad food, the right food, the wrong food, healthy food, not healthy food. And Ra's take on this was that in your primary health system, how you are designed to function shows us how you're supposed to take in food according to conditions and circumstances, not necessarily what you take in, but how you take it in. So color determination is going to be a big part of what we're going to dive into with regards to your primary health system. And every single one of us is determined to have an exact, perfect digestive process for us that's going to change depending on what else is all there in the design. So one of the things that we're also going to be taking a look at when you come into the coaching sessions with us is we're going to look at holistically your design and talk to you about some of the substances for which your body is actually craving. You're genetically predispositioned to use specific fuels in your design that are going to help you access your drive and stamina or your energy resource or your emotional intelligence or your uh, survival instincts. All of these fuels within the design are shown genetically you know, that you have a predisposition for that in that mapping. So that's what we're going to work on specifically. Now, so above and beyond that, we have six primary digestive system binaries, and that's what we're going to be looking at in your specific way, you'll get the video of how you're here to digest life. And that results in actually 12 different ways in which each digestive process works uniquely. So you're going to learn how your form, your body can benefit from your own primary health system and have a unique differentiated rather than homogenized brain system function. So it's going to change your sensory capacity or how you interpret internally what you're experiencing from the outside world, what you're taking in both as food, as nutrition, as well as information, as well as people, as well as anything in the environment you might be sensitized to. It's going to change how you interpret life. Now this takes time. And it can feel a little scary, a little uncomfortable. Remember, back off if anything feels not correct for you. Check in with one of us who is designed to help analyze specifically your dietary regimen. Tell us what your symptoms are so that we can help make supportive course corrections in what's going on for you. Ultimately, some of us are way more sensitive to changes within our dietary structure or our unique way of taking in life. What you'll notice is that we are going to find a heightened kind of sensory capacity. Maybe your acuity for smell, taste, touch, seeing, a heightened awareness for feelings, your interpretation of uh, what's going on around you, the chemistry, the frequencies, the touch of uh, life kind of heightened sensory perception is what we're aiming for, but not to the detriment of your psyche, your psychology. So there is such a thing as pushing too quickly or moving too fast, not aligning to your unique um, timing. Everyone has their own timing for the unfolding. It's kind of like, you know, when you get this process of um, deconditioning, it you could equate it to like deconstructing your psychology or also um, going through a detox where you might have Herxheimer reactions. If you don't know what that is, it's like a detox, like you're getting sick reactions, reactivities to having these toxins come up and then having to release them. So it takes time to clear those pathways of releasing the things that you picked up along the way that you actually don't really need. And that's what happens when you're not eating correctly for yourself. Eating correctly is one of the, if not the most important things you can do for your body. 
Again, not necessarily what you eat, although we do have tips and tricks for you to experiment, but how you're taking in life, the sensitivity with which you interpret not only the food nutrition that comes to you, but your experiences with the right people in the right place at the right time and how you allow those things in or how you put up a boundary of, no, this is not for me. That's my um, inspiration there. 